Hello, everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT. So, in today's session, we are going to start a unit three. So, first topic in the unit three is introduction to Python. Okay. So, what is a Python? Python is a widely used general purpose high level programming language. Okay. So, it was first created by Guido Van Rossum in 1991 and it was further. Uh, slowly developed by the Python Software Foundation. Okay, there were several versions of Python as well. Okay, so so what is the specialty of the Python compared to another languages? Means Python is a versatile language which is very very easy to script as well as easy to read. Okay, so the syntax present in that particular programming also very very easy. Okay, so this particular Python programming supports interfacing with wide range of hardware platforms okay so and the beauty of this particular python programming is it is a free as well as open source platform or an software okay so this particular software is available for an installation of pc with respect to windows linux as well as mac coming to the characteristics of python we have uh, several characteristics the first one multi paradigm programming language so python supports more than one programming paradigms including object oriented programming as well as structured programming okay so once we get into the programming we will be seeing what is the object oriented as well as the structured programming okay so next characteristics is interpreted language okay so the python is an interpreted language and it does not require any uh, explicit compilation step okay so the python interpreter executes the program source code directly statement by statement as a processor okay same as the processor does the python interpreter uh, the python interpreter executes the program complete program source code statement by statement okay and the third characteristic is uh, interactive language okay so the python provides an interactive mode in which the user can submit the commands at the python prompt itself okay so there will be a window okay there you can uh, just type the commands and do whatever the operations you require and you can also interact with the interpreter directly using those commands see coming to the key benefits of python so the key benefits of the python are it is easy to learn read as well as maintain okay as it is having very few keywords, less syntax construction, it is very much easy to learn, read, as well as maintain that particular uh, programming or the software. Okay. So the next key benefit is it is object as well as procedure oriented. Okay. So procedures or functions are allowed to reuse the code. Okay. So wherever the code is written, okay, that same code can be also reused. Um, where according to these procedures or functions okay throughout the program now extendable the third benefit is it, the program is or the software is extendable okay so it allows the integration of low level modules written in the languages such as c and c plus plus okay so we can combine multiple programming languages okay which is somewhat called as extendable okay the next key uh, feature is scalable okay so it provides a manageable structure for larger programs okay so we can uh, extend the program whenever required and we can keep on adding the programming lines okay according to the requirements next one is portable okay so portable means the python program can be directly executed from the source code and if at all required it can be copied from one host to the another or one system to the another system that's why we are considering it as portable okay next important one is the key feature is the broad library support same as Arduino. okay this particular python programming uh, free source will also will be having various types of libraries or packages which are able to implement various applications such as machine learning image processing cryptography network programming etc okay so these are the key benefits of python 